so guys we have seen rds in, in that rds we access the device of your lan but if you want to access any device let us say this is your domain controller and you want to access this remote uh, domain controller from the remote side let us say you want to access this domain controller from your home so what you will do you will configure the ras server using this ras server you can access the device remotely so <coughs> excuse me Re <coughs> excuse me guys so ras remote access service allows the remote users to access the lan over internet if you want to access your lan over the internet you will use this ras server we will see okay what is this ras server in detail so a machine running windows on which ras remote access service is installed it is called as ras server so this is the machine and you have installed ras remote access service it is called as ras server so ras allows remote users to connect through wide area network so ras it is allowing the remote user so let us say you are at home and you want to access your lan or you want to access the servers of your network this ras server is allowing you to access it remotely over internet wan link means over internet so from from there ras allows those clients to access the resources on your network so you need to access this server from this server this ras will allow to access this domain controller this access this server access the printer access the other pcs as well so it is like you are sitting in your lan and remote users can access the network resources as though they were logged on to a machine directly connected to the network so you will feel like you are in the network you are sitting in your lan so to allow a user to connect remotely to the ras server user should have a dialin permission so guys let us say you are the administrator and you want to access the devices or ras server remotely so administrator should have the dialin permission you should go to the domain controller you should go to let me show you you will go to administrator properties you will go to dialin this is the permission okay dialin then you should allow it allow access then only you can access your site over the internet using ras otherwise you can't access this dialin permission is not required when you are in lan this dialin permission is required when you are at home from home you are accessing from internet you are accessing the server we will see this as well we will enable this option also so it allows remote users to access the lan over the internet a machine running windows so we have already covered so to allow a user to connect remotely to the ras server user should have the dialin permission and guys this ras uses nat and vpn okay so let us try to understand what is nat and what is vpn so guys we have already covered this point in this nat and vpn in great detail and we have done the configuration in ccna as well okay let us see what is this nat we will see it one more time so nat stands for network address translation and what is the use of this nat it is a way to map multiple local private addresses to one public address before transferring 
the information. So guys, we'll take one example to understand what is this NAT. So imagine <clears throat> there are three organizations. The first organization is ABC and this ABC organization is having their lab. They have some computers and these four computers are connected to switch and is forming the ABC lab, ABC organization lab. And they are using this network 192.168.168. 1.0 network in their LAN and the IP addresses of these computers are like 192.168.1.1, 1.2, and 1.4. There is one more LAN and this LAN belong, belongs to PQR organization. And they are also using the same network 192.168.1.0 and their IP addresses are like this 1.1 and 1.2. There is one more organization XYZ and they are having some computers in their LAN and they are also using the same network 192.168.1.1, 192.168.1.4 192 So guys, is there any problem here if they are using the same network in their LANs. Guys, any problem? No. Why? Because it's private network. It is, a, it is a private network. Very good. And if you connect these three private networks over internet, will there be any problem? Here, guys, these three networks, they are not connected with each other. So there will be no problem here. But let us say the requirement is to connect these three networks to the internet. So they want all these three organization wants the internet access. So what you will do, you will purchase the router and you will connect it to the switch. So all these three networks, they will purchase the router and they will connect it to switch and uh, they will contact the service provider and they will take the internet access now guys if you observe here all the three networks are connected with each other and all of them are using the same network let us say there is one server cisco.com is there and this 192.168.1.1 of ABC organization wants to access cisco.com. He will open the browser and he will type cisco.com and here the source is 192.168.1.1 and the destination is cisco.com. Okay, the request will go to the router. Router will forward the request to internet. From internet, the request will go to Cisco.com. So Cisco.com will see that the request is coming from 192.168.1.1, but multiple devices are using the same IP address 192.168.1.1. Okay, guys. So what the Cisco.com will do? Will it send the response to all the devices? It will get confused, right? So it will it will get confused and it won't be able to send the response to any device. This is a problem. Okay, and guys, the IP addresses which we use in your LAN, it is called as private IP address. Okay, this is the private network, you can say. So this is the problem with the private IP addresses. We can't access the internet. If you want to access the internet, 
you need to purchase the public ip address so these public ip addresses are unique ip addresses and uh, it is like your mobile number no two mobile phones can have the same mobile number the same and no two devices can have the same public ip address okay so what you, what these organizations will do they will purchase the public ip address let us say abc has purchased 1.1.1.1 and they have configured this on this router and pqr has purchased 2.2.2.2 ip address and this xyz also has purchased the one public ip address 3.3.3.3 now what will happen the if this 192.168.1.1 wants to access cisco.com again it will he will open the browser and he will type cisco.com the request will go to this router this time the router will not send the request from 192.168.1.1 instead of that it will replace this private ip address this this public ip address 1.1.1.1 and the destination will be cisco.com the request will go to internet from internet the request will go to cisco.com cisco.com will see that the request is coming from 1.1.1 which is a public ip address which is a unique ip address then it will send the response back to your isp or internet then this router will get the response and this router knows who has initiated this request the request is initiated by 192.168.1.1 and send the response back to 192.168.1.1 is it clear guys how you access the internet using this private ip address yes sir yes okay and here what is happening this router is changing the private ip address private to public code. ip address correct yes this concept is called what nat nat it is called as natting so translating your private ip address to public ip address is called as nat so guys we perform this nat on routers on servers and we can perform this natting on the firewalls as well okay you need to remember this concept if you want to allow if you want to give the internet access to your private computers we you use the nat here so what are the advantages guys of this nat anyone what are the advantages of nat we can we can buy one public ip and we can use uh, the with only with that uh, one public ip we can use multiple users very good nisha so here we have multiple private ip addresses okay let us say you have 10 servers and they are using the ip addresses from 192.168.1.10220 and you want to give the internet access so you need to purchase 10 public ip addresses here for each device and if you have 200 devices in your lan to provide the internet access to these 200 devices you need to purchase 200 public ip addresses which will be very expensive guys so instead of that what you will do you will purchase only one public ip address and you will allow your 200 devices to in your land to access the internet this is the first advantage saves money and guys are when we are using the nat did we change any ip address in your lan computer no so there is no need to change the ip addresses of your computer with the help of this private ip addresses you can access the internet translation will be done at the router okay and the third advantage is you are not exposing your network which is 192.168.1.0 over the internet your request is going using this public ip address not with the private ip address so you are not exposing your hiding your private network so these are the three advantages of nat clear everyone yes yes sir okay so 
ras supports natting okay so here if you see here we have multiple devices in our example let us say we have some servers okay, these are the servers and their ip addresses are 10.0.0.10 10.0.0.10 30. These are the IP addresses. And if you want to allow, if you want to give the internet access to these servers, you need to do the netting here. Okay, let us say one dot, one dot, one dot. So these servers will access the internet using this public IP address. Okay, so NAT stands for Network Address Translations. It is a way to map multiple local private addresses to one public IP address before transferring the information. And as we have discussed, it supports a VPN as well. Let us try to understand what is VPN. A VPN or virtual private network is an encrypted connection over the internet from a device to network. So guys, let us say you are at home and you want to access your network from your home. You want to do it, do the task work from home. Okay, nowadays it is very common. You might have heard this term several times. So how you work from home using this VPN. So what you will do, you will take the internet access at your home and you will configure the RAS server and you will form the VPN between your home network and your organization. You will form the VPN here. This is the VPN. This is the internet connection. This is the VPN connection. And you will form the tunnel and you will access all your devices from your home. Okay. So guys, let us try to understand the difference between NAT and VPN. NAT allows your computers in your LAN to access the internet. And VPN allows the outsider to access your LAN. Got the difference?